extensions and shifts, trying to create some confusion with that Florida defense, which they struggled with last week against Vanderbilt. Second down and nine. Hand off, it's Rose up the middle, still on his feet. A.J. Rose out near midfield. Mm -hmm. Be something that Kentucky will be able to take advantage of on the ground, much like they did early in the game against Alabama last week. Offensive coordinator Eddie Gran has to feel good about this opening drive so far. First and ten, Wilson under duress and sacked back at the 30 yard line by Cox. Florida defense has come under criticism of late. Wilson sacked all the way back at the 42 yard line. Finn averaging about 44 yards and they fake it and they're gonna pick up a first down Pierce still on his feet Dan Mullen caught the Wildcat defense hitting the snooze bar as he merged this season as well in the backfield He's got 151 yards on the ground coming into the game over the middle complete there he is Pitts Room service welcome back Kyle Pitts <laughs> The matchup they wanted one-on-one -on -one coverage you can't leave that guy open that's a mismatch there with Kelvin Joseph a corner in terms of size and Trask found his guy 84 for the touch oh we flexed on him <laughs> it's, it's a little messy guy. for me <laughs> five yards to go and catch by shorter fumble the ball came out and Kentucky recovers the fumble so the first turnover of the game Creating turnovers. Kentucky's defense is second in the conference in creating turnovers with 13 before that one. Big hit forces the football out. Now Kentucky's in a short field situation. How does Florida's defense react in the sudden change situation? So a great break for the Wildcats who struggled on offense in the last several games. There's a look at the turnover. Daily in motion. Wilson into the end zone. Touchdown, Upshaw. What a grab in traffic. There he is lined up on the right side at the wing position. Hard play fake, draws up the defense. Just takes a split second of the defense getting their eyes caught in the backfield. We'll split those games, and they've been really hot ever since. Lavassier smoke out to the 20-yard line, moves the chains. Josh Ali has a nice wave of blockers in front of him and picks up about 15 yards. Wilson steps up in the pocket, takes off, still on his feet. Wilson on the move. One guy to beat and pushed out of bounds at the seven-yard line. First and goal for the Wildcats. So a little chip shot here coming up. And he knocks it through. What that really was... I'll take you back was that was Pierce number 27 that ran for the first down not this time they punted away and he hits the coffin corner with lethal precision out of bounds at the one yard line end over end punt Tony on the other side of the field. Great okie doke. And they score the touchdown. Gotcha. The Darius Tony. Know where the ball's coming down. You're reacting to the body language of the Florida returners. And look at the white jerseys. Only a couple players realized the ball was going to the right side of the field. You just can't give that much space to a guy that's as dangerous as Darius Tony is in the open field. You talk about uh, some misdirection, lethal misdirection. Yeah, Bimbry was the only cover guy for Kentucky that actually knew where the football was going. Marco Wilson on the right side of the field acting like he's got a sense of urgency to get, get the football. Look at all the white jerseys around him. He drew a lot of traffic. And that's not something that you'll necessarily see in the stat sheet, yeah. but. First and goal. Trask, Pitts, touchdown, the remix. And he rocked the baby to sleep. Pitts tried to go to the fade this time. He sells the fade, comes back underneath. A nice job 
by Kyle Trask of throwing the straight ball out in front of his receiver for the touchdown. Hits with those sure hands and looked at Eccles and said, yeah, it's bedtime. Trask out of the shotgun again. Plenty of time. Taking a shot downfield. And the catch made at the other end of the 24-yard line to Copeland. Trask, this was an ill-advised throw, but the thing you see from Trask is a tremendous trust in his wide receiver. Trask back to pass again. Checks down with it to his tailback, Pierce. Oh, he hit the defender with the two-piece. Wow. And here's what it looked like in real time. Good job of taking the check down. On second and goal, low snap. Trask going to be sacked, swallowed, and engulfed back at the 12-yard line. It'll be third and goal. And he knocks it through. Increasing the lead to a couple of touchdowns. Gordon Battle, one of the top safeties in the SEC. Third and nine. Wilson picked off again. This time by Diabate. All the way down to the 13-yard line. Gators with a turnover. It's a great individual play. Look at Diabate to your right. They got exactly what they want. Josh Ali runs the jerk route. He's wide open at the first down line to game, but Diabate reads the eyes of the quarterback tremendously well, goes up and gets the football. This is a guy that's a tremendous athlete. Came in last year, got a chance to play a little bit, acclimating this year to playing a little more inside linebacker than what we've seen him do before. He'll move outside in third down situation, but his athleticism was something that Todd Grantham had to... Down in five coming up. He's coming off the edge, didn't get there. Touchdown, Pitts! That's three for him today. Been a big-time weapon, particularly down in the red zone. Look at him sell the inside route, mm. get the defender Corker running. That's great agility for a guy that's 6'6", being able to put his foot in the ground and change directions like that. Exactly, Clint. It's, it's what the NFL is looking for these days, right? A guy that has that much versatility and athleticism combined with the size. That's a fumble they need. Ball's on the ground. Kentucky pouncing on the loose ball. Davis gets it back, and the Wildcats trying to stay alive. He went after the wrong dude. You don't want to try and tune up the other team's quarterback. You definitely don't want that. And there's a look at the fumble. Naquan Wright hold the ball a little loosely as he's going up into the line of scrimmage there. Overcome those self-inflicted wounds. Trask hands it off to Pierce, and Pierce in the open field still on his feet. Trying to turn it upfield now and out all the way to the 35 of Kentucky. Damian Pierce. Seen Damian Pierce be a weapon in the fake punt early in the game. We've seen him as a receiver this time, doing it the traditional way for a running back. Getting vertical on the zone read, putting his foot in the ground, and then exploding there for the big game. He was averaging almost five yards a carry coming into the game today and picks up 38. Third down and nine coming up. Wilson back to pass and picked off at the 37-yard line by Sean Davis. And Davis returns it out to the 46, which has been highly scrutinized and beleaguered. Comes up with a nice play here in the turnover by Davis. Back after this. After hitting the right upright last time, this one straight through to make it a 34-10 football game. Stoops has it going there. Back to pass is Gatewood. Dropped one in there, and it's incomplete and intercepted. Receiver on the play. Drennan, look at this. Johnson did a nice job of getting his eyes around at the last second. Saw the receiver reacting to the ball in the air. Special teams played a big role in it. The willingness to call the fake punt at your own 25-yard line. Boy, an authoritative throw by Jones, complete to Rick Well. Who seems like they're hitting the stride. They're going to hand it off on first and goal, and that in all likelihood will be the last play of the football game. <laughs> Kyle Trask and Kyle Pitts team up again for a victory. 34-10, this one. 
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.